this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make a church graphic with sundaysocial.tv. All right, so I'm at sundaysocial.tv. It is a subscription payment that you have to pay for this website and to use this, but it's totally worth it. I've been using it. I mean, they already have so many graphics. If I just scroll down, you'll see so many graphics and so many things that you can use here. I mean, they did a lot of the work for you instead of going from scratch. So anyways, so for this video, I'm just gonna do a basic Sunday graphic, meaning I'm just gonna do a church announcement graphic, come on Sunday, and I'm just gonna put basic information on there. Let's just go to social. That's where I usually go to just to look at all the graphics. Well, you can go to sermon series slides and stock footages, and there's so many things here on this website, but I'm just gonna go to social for now. All right, so I'm gonna choose a graphic that I wanna use. So as you can see, there's so many selections. It's actually somewhat even overwhelming because there's so many selections that you can choose from. All right, so I found a graphic that I like. It's this one with a bokeh background. It's kind of yellow orangish, so I'm gonna click on it. On this page, you're gonna see different selections you can choose. You can choose the one with the, the fonts, but I do want my own font and text in there, so you can choose this style right here. And they already have pre-selected sizes for you. So for this example, I just want an announcement slide and a YouTube thumbnail, basically, so 16 by nine. So this is the one I'm gonna use. So all I'm gonna do is just download it. So now that we have our image downloaded and we have a graphic here, pretty much I just dragged it into this Affinity software, which is what I'm gonna be using. You do not have to use Affinity. You can use Adobe, you can use Canva or any graphics software th uh, for that matter. And I'm just gonna show you basic principles that what I do. And this is just really a basic way of going about it, but you can do anything in your own style. This is obviously graphic design, so you can do it however you wish. All right, so first what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put something on the bottom. And I just like to do this because I like to put the address or the website right here. And so I will do that. So right here, I just put a little white background thing right here. So I'm gonna just put that on the bottom. I'm gonna actually make it black, just to make it darker. I think that looks better. And I'm just gonna put some text on it. I put the actual uh, web address right here. Um, I'm gonna actually take out www dot and just put that instead. I think that would look better. And I put slash events. Usually on the bottom right here, I put the the URL or I put the address. So, or I'll just put the address here on the actual graphic itself. And yeah, so this looks pretty good. I wanna change the font and I'm gonna do something with the sans serif font. And the one of my go-tos is this font called Bebas or Bebas, uh, not really sure how to pronounce that, but yeah, that's the font that I always go for. I had to stick with like sans serif fonts. Of course you can use serif fonts if you wanna be creative, but sans serif fonts are great if you wanna just be on the safe side. I'm gonna use my arrow keys just to bring it up a little bit. And the reason I do that is even though it's like right in the middle right here, it's a line, I do like to bring it up just like a slight bit. And I, I don't know why it just looks a little bit better, even though it's not exactly in the middle, it's just like a little above the middle, if that makes sense, all right? So I'm just gonna put another text now and I'm just gonna write in Genesis from church. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just making this a little bit bigger, Genesis from church. And then I'm gonna do Sunday service. All right, so this is my title right here. I'm basically doing Genesis Upper Church Sunday service. And then one of the things I wanna do now is just place them how I wanna place them. And I just wanna place it pretty much in the middle. So let's see how that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then now I just wanna put the time somewhere. And normally I don't wanna put it in the same spot, like right beneath it. I mean, I, get, I can, let's just see how it looks like. So I do 3 p.m. because that's what it is. Okay, so that looks really uniform to me, but obviously you can be creative. You can even put it up here as well at 3 p.m. That's another spot. So I think that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it as it is, or I'm gonna make the font yellow. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to these two. I'm gonna right click this, go to layer effect. In a layer effect, I'm gonna go to color overlay. And it just made it black. I mean, that looks okay too, the black, but I'm gonna make it yellow. And you wanna make the correct yellow. That looks pretty good to me. So let's have a look. That looks pretty good. Um, I want to add some drop shadow to it. So let's see. So I like to do some drop shadow. So this is outer shadow right here. Maybe increase it just by a little bit. I'm going to do black. So now that we got a color here, what we can do now, we can also mask this if you want to as well. So I just want to show you another way how to color the font. I put a mask on. So this is what it could look like if you just put the mask over the text. So that's another way to go about it as well. All right, so this looks pretty good. Let me just make some few adjustments. And this is the final graphic on what it looks like.